Lin here was playing boat, boat, boat. Tip. Just look at his face. Look at his face. So, so conniving. Right there, he laughs it off. And that is driving me driving insane. insane. Just insane. look at his face. So, so conniving. Ever since we found the first portal, we've lost all momentum. We haven't been able to find any. It's like something's been hidden from us. But I feel like we're so close. He must know that we know, and that we're close to stopping him. But we have to do so before he completes whatever task he's working on. Then we can use the machine and fix everything he's changed. Justin, it's me. The portal's been washed away. Have you found anything yet? Okay, I guess we just have to keep looking then. We're running out of time. But as we've been searching, we've noticed a change in Glenn's attitude. Yeah, and it's kind of been focused towards us. It's, that's not in there. Glenn, do you have a red wire behind your computer? Hey, what is going on? I got here early this morning, turned on my computer, and then remembered a certain episode of The Office and that we have a thousand feet of red computer cable sitting in the back closet. He'll be fine. Would you stop? Would I stop what? Hitting my key so hard, you animal. <laughs> What's going on? You play by my rules now, got it? What rules? You can't tell me what to do, you're just Say a... Say it, Justin. Computer. Like I said, my rules. And while you figured that out, I just learned French. But, you keep doing you, Einstein. <laughs> wow, was... is that sarcasm? Oh. What? Can't have a little fun in the office? Is he? I've been trying to reach you all day. Are you going to the company lunch today? Trying to get a headcount. Ooh, lemonade. That's good. Oh, Justin. I've been trying to reach you all day. Are you going to the company lunch? Yeah. Sorry I missed your text. I assume you'd know I'd show. It's too late. Oh well. I don't care. What is this problem? Are you going to go or not? Are you going or not? Oh, that would be fun. Like I said, it's whatever. Oh, that sure be fun. Like I said, it's whatever. <laughs> Who's this guy I think he is? You're hilarious. Sent. You're hilarious. <laughs> ah, you're the one making me laugh. You wanna meet up <laughs> in the parking lot right now? In the parking lot right now. Didn't know we were leaving that early. Well, okay, champ. Let's go. Oh, ooh, ooh, King Kong ain't got nothing on what's about to go on in here. Let's go. Let's go. You really wanna do this? You really want to do this? 
hold your horses, sir. We only get one lunch break. If we go now, you are going to lose your lunch. Can't wait for that sweet punch, though. Mm. Can't wait for that sweet punch, though. Oh, it'll be even sweeter when I'm punching your... I mean, I can slow down in the camera. Oh, hey, Justin. Hey, y'all going without me. Hey, is that a driver? Uh, yeah. Yep. Man, how did you know mine was missing? I mixed mine up with Kennedy in that last round. No, no. This this is old. This was in my grandpa's attic. Yeah, no, I know. It's perfect. I, yeah, thanks. And that's how we found our next clip. John F. Kennedy, the 35th President of the United States, was young, bold, restless. He was a firm voice of democracy who held true to the American way, despite the turmoil of the Cold War. The Kennedy era was the perfect place to go looking for Glenn, because during his presidency, several events occurred that dramatically impacted our world. Events like the Bay of Pigs, the Space Race, and even the Soviet Union's construction of the Berlin Wall. Now, take a look at this man standing next to the president. The man who we believe influenced every decision of Kennedy's presidency. Oh, and there's more. According to the evidence, Glenn and JFK had strong ties. Perhaps they were even friends. Throughout the course of his presidency, we continue to find picture after picture with him and Glenn. But what's very interesting about all this is Kennedy's involvement in the space race. Kennedy made the decision to put a man on the moon, to begin the ascension of man, to push us into the ever-expanding frontier that is space. Historians say the effort was due to the colossal failure of the Bay of Pigs invasion. But with Kennedy's involvement with Glenn, it has a new element to speculation. Test flights were already underway for intercontinental ballistic missile systems. With a possible nuclear war on the horizon, the U.S. would stop at nothing to gain the upper hand. But it was Kennedy's decision to suddenly alter the course toward putting a man on the moon. Why focus there? And was it really just to say we did it? No. Now Glenn told them something. Perhaps he spoke of the inevitable truth that mankind would need to learn to live among the stars. Could it be true that Glenn forewarned Kennedy of a global disaster? Could this be the reason man took to the moon? Of course Glenn shared something. If you look at this photo, you'll see Glenn texting. Kennedy is looking right at him. Everything was out in the open between us two. I mean, we found Glenn in multiple places during the 60s. The Civil Rights Movement, Woodstock, and oddly enough, the Apollo 11 mission. But the primary spot where he shows up the most is here, with Kennedy. It makes me believe the two had a secret they shared. There's something significant about this time. The answer isn't quite clear yet. But what could this secret be? Is it on the dark side of the moon? Is there something that's going to happen to Earth where mankind will eventually have to take to the stars? Maybe you can find the answer when you ask yourself and really think, why JFK? There was one crucial event that happened during his presidency. One event that was perhaps the most pivotal moment in all of human history. The Cuban Missile Crisis. This photo was taken upon the final hour of the crisis. Had things gone awry during that time? Who knows what could have happened? Who knows what the world could have become? It's very possible that the Earth could have been devastated by the effects of a nuclear holocaust, creating a true wasteland in which humanity could not survive. Could it be true that Glenn took part in preventing a nuclear war? If so, is that the real reason he's traveled through time? Perhaps the world, the time Glenn came from,
experience the unthinkable consequences of that day. What if Glenn's world was that wasteland? And that's why he's come back to change it, to save everything. But I finally broke through. You know the glitches in the last episodes? Yeah, that was me trying to connect. I don't have much time, but all I can say is don't believe them. The pictures, have you been watching closely? Where I come from, I'm not alone. The truth is in the pictures. If he's not trying to save us from something, then perhaps he's trying to save us from someone. If so, then who? Everything was coming together. We were in a race against time, and there was nothing that could stop us. Not even Glenn. I have to try. Stay tuned for episode 5, when Glenn, Taylor, and Justin will battle for the future, and the past, and probably the present as well. <laughs> <laughs>